Hi Aries, welcome to your love read for the day. I hope you're doing fantastic. So let's see what the energies are coming in from the romance angels for you guys. Let's see, what do we have here for Aries for love? Engagement. Um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel like if you're not in a relationship and you're like, well, that's not me, it could mean that you're actually going to be engaging with someone that is someone meant to be for you or something like that. What else do we have here for Aries, for love? I got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then I have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. Interesting. Things down a little. Okay, so what do we have here for Aries? What is going on here? We have the Fool. I already shuffled and cut it. We have a new beginning, a fresh start, a new opportunity, a new journey, starting from zero. The Three of Wands. Someone or something, a situation that you've been waiting for. You have been focusing more on yourself. Ooh, the lovers. Okay. Happiness, joy, great success um, in a relationship where there's chemistry. Six of air. Moving on, blocking someone. Or it could also be somebody moving or contacting you. Nine of air. You're worried about a connection. This connection is exciting in some way for you. It sparks. Ooh. So you'd have to walk away from another situation that you've put your emotions into. Whether it's a person or a situation, you'd have to walk away from an, an investment. But there's no two of cups in the investment. There's no... Well, it's not that there's no two of cups. Um, there's problems and there is disappointment. There could be a loss of joy. In this card to me, there's one, two, three, four, five that are standing. Three are tipped over. So there's a loss of joy in some way. And five of cups is like maybe you can't stop focusing on the loss of some kind of joy or a loss. There's been a loss. Okay, around you, there's a person who brings in the joy, which is interesting. This, There's a person who's celebrating, they're happy. Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, okay. Page of Air, Piece of Coin. Somebody is bringing you this new opportunity, reaching out to you, wanting to be in a connection with you. Um, there could be chemistry or physical attraction with the lover's card. You're, you could also be overthinking it. Um, this person shows up as a page of swords, which is, they have a lot of ideas. Um, there's a certain level of spying, watching, um, and there's also immaturity. I mean, it's not, this is not somebody offering you a wedding ring. This is just somebody, um, who reaches out to you in a way where they have ideas that they want to share. Coin is money. So there could be some financial or tangible, something tangible that they want to start with you. 
The world, okay. They see a great success with you. They see that there could be a possibility for success. The death. So there'd have to be an ending and a walking away from another situation. Oops. Okay. So. The person around you has a lot of joy. Nine of cups. They're very content how they are. Um, you are more discontent. Okay. What is the eight of cups? What is the Eight of Cups? Eight of Swords. Feel trapped, isolated, alone, anxious, worried, nervous, unable to move out of your current situation. There's been a change in a, either a commitment or there's a commitment coming in. What is this Nine of Swords about? Why is Aries so worried or fearful or nervous or just not doing well, like feeling stressed out. Okay, worried about this ending with the Ten of Air. Worried about a lot of worry, basically, just about an ending. Um, what is the Nine of Cups? Three of Swords. Somebody is happy because maybe they're getting through heartbreak. They're going to reach out to you like a friend and ace of coin, offering you something real. What is the ace of wands? What is the ace of wands? What is the ace of wands? The fool. So you're wanting to take this leap of faith. What is the lovers? The justice. Fairness, balance, equality. Court decisions, legal matters. Maybe you'd have to get a divorce and that would be very stressful. Or, you know, something about it is stressful. But you don't feel like you have a two of cups anymore. So you're giving somebody a coin as well with the world. You're wanting this opportunity to be successful. Why is the death card showing up here? Okay, so there's something here that would change everything with the Ace of Cups. New love or new opportunity, it would change everything. The world or the judgment something is divine timing it could also be something that is being brought back up to life okay well basically Aries I feel like you have a choice I mean you have a choice to stay in a situation um, or break free or liberate yourself um, now what else do we have here for Aries what do they need to see for love what does Aries need to see for love the guardian of action king of wands Strength card, could be Leo. We have go within. Ten of cups. Be open to success. And that nine of swords energy is popping up again. So it's like you're overthinking it by a lot. The person's only a page of swords. They're not um, a freaking king of cups or anything. They are. Th there's a person that comes towards you. Uh, that's just, you know, somebody who wants to share ideas with you. I don't really even see wedding bells or anything like this. I just see, um, I just see a person that comes towards you with ideas and you feel like this is the end all be all with the death card. Like this is going to change everything. 
The tarot is also saying that there is something that is going to change everything, um, but you're stressing out over it, like putting a lot of mental thought into it that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Okay, Aries, I'm gonna leave it here for you. Um, basically, the tarot cards are showing that there is a new opportunity for happiness. There's someone around you that possibly sees a potential for happiness and success with you. And um, perhaps it would change everything, but yeah, you don't wanna you like worry yourself sick over it. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for tuning in to your love read and take care.